Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about card quality stock and the decline. So someone who is in the profession, and I didn't realize there were so many different... So when we do printing and we do graphic design, the paper is very, very important. However, this guy is pretty crazy with his expertise. Now, he wanted to present some information of why the card quality stock seems to go down. And we all know this because if you buy Japanese cards and you compare the card quality stock of a Japanese card to American card, you're gonna find that they are night and day. There's a lot of misprints and not in the good way uh, to the point that misprints today, unless they are extremely unique, are not rare and they are not valuable. One of the main issues I have is they have, they must have tried to save money. It's really hard to go down in quality when you've been doing something for 20 plus years. The old magic cards, it's not just me saying this, but they are, they feel better. They're, they were less misprints. The inking was much better. Here, they've gone to a mass production model. And part of the mass production model would mean quality assurance, right? Checks. And clearly they are not doing that because some of the products that are getting out there are just uh, defected. And then they are defected to the point that you can't actually play with the cards anymore. Or, you know, this Nick, that Nick, and people would say, hey, you are cheating or something like that. So... This is correct. A Chandra Torture Defiance in Japanese feels like a different card game from a Chandra in American to the point that you would think that the American Chandra is fake. So as of right now, I've decided to post information about why we are noticing diminished paper quality without revealing the exact brand and grade, at least as far as I know, within the U.S., I'm sorry if this angers some people. Please realize that this seems insignificant, but it matters. Maybe I would change my mind later, but the damage it can do to others and to me is too much. But I will describe how I determine the pa current paper grade and why it matters in the diminished quality of the cardstock. I will get into the depth about the nature of paper and why I think Wizard of Coast or their printer uses this stock. Maybe with a little bit of Googling, someone can find the information. It wouldn't be hard with, for anyone with printing experience, but I've stated my reasons. So obviously he's going to hedge by this by saying, I don't want to be, I don't want my name to be out there. I don't want my information to be public and I'm going to do it with a screen behind a screen. So. Let's see. Yeah, you deserve to know these things. I love magic. I may not have played constantly through my life, but every time I do, I seem to enjoy it from deck building, yada, yada, yada. So he presents it an interesting argument where it's a pretty unbiased person explaining in an unbiased way why our cardstock has deteriorated and it might have to do with the printers themselves. So maybe it's not Wizard of the Coast's fault. I'm sure if they could change it, they would change it, but it's actually the printer's fault and they can't do it. Now you might say, oh, let's hire a new printer. You could do that, but there's probably contracts in places. Um, you know, there's probably certain fresh holds that have to be met in terms of printing supply. So right away, I can tell you the stock is much different than older cards. Though I think even further back when I was a kid, it was two sheets pressed around a blue sheet to stop counterfeiting. It's definitely a lower grade. These roads allowed them to print huge runs at once on a machine and their cards are cut later on. I don't know if this is exactly how they are done, but to me, it would make the most sense. So the whole point of the exercise that Wizard of Coast is doing is they are okay with a poor quality product as long as it means they can print as much of it as they want and that is so it's kind of like your local ice cream store right you love it it's kind of trendy it has its own personality and then suddenly someone buys it and makes a chain from it 
well, the chain store, the ice cream is not going to taste as good because they need to use cheaper products at volume. And the prices will probably increase. I mean, you look at booster packs today, they're much more expensive than booster packs 10 years ago. And the demand, you know, they want volume. They don't care about you as a person anymore. They want volume. They're going to go ahead and hire teenagers. This is exactly what happened with Wizards of the Coast. They wanted to make as much money as possible, which means they got to print as much as possible and have a system where even if the card quality is very bad, they can print volumes of it because people will still buy it. So imagine that you're an ice cream shop and no matter how crappy your ice cream was, people would buy it. Well, in that case, you would make crappy ice cream at volume. I have only tested cards from the most recent set and also some 2015. Uh, da, da, da. I measured the thickness. And this is all stuff you can do as well. Like it's not something, it's not rocket science here. Uh, the best US coded board, at least in my opinion, called Caroline, owned by a company called International Paper, was discontinued and the brand name was sold to the company called Tango. It is neither of these sheets that is used to make cards. Therefore, it can be expected that all these issues regarding card stock quality will continue for at least a few more years. And this is a key here. He's saying that the solution, is, and everyone's saying this, uh, even popular YouTubers, there's no solution. There's no solution because it's like exactly what I said is going on. When a company buys another company for money, they want to recoup that money as fast as possible for the investors or the buyers of the company. Therefore, they will milk the company. So when you look at Kmart, why do we still have Kmart? The answer is the CEO is milking Kmart for every cent or Sears and stuff. Have you ever gone to a Sears? It feels like you've gone back to like 2000, right? Because the, the products are very crappy. The, it's just very bad. Uh, the customer service is non-existent because they know they're not going to be there in a few months. But why have the store? You have the store because you want to milk it for money. And that's what Wizard of the Coast is doing to us. And there's no, according to this guy, there's no solution for it. This will continue to happen and continue to happen. So average between my tests was 11.7, 11.8. I have a digital calibrator arriving next week as my last one was ancient. So I'll get a dead on measurement. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The next characteristics to try to determine the sheet would be how bright the sheet is. The brightness of the sheet is harder to determine since even white cards are what I refer to as a paint job, full card printing. He seems like very, very, um, he seems like expertise. I doubt Wizard of the Coast would be able to find that at a price point they need. It isn't a Chinese sheet I'm familiar with because it is not the same coating and the Asian mill has a heavy duty tariff yes yes tariffs right that's why the chinese counterfeiters can produce better product than the american people because they have lower cost but then there's a tariff right so if you ask how does counterfeit cards i mean why are they so like high quality and so cheap it's because you know it's in china and if you don't put a tariff on it it's going to be five cents a card the dude was going to print me what, 10,000 Tamagoyes for like $400 or something? Like, <laughs> like 10,000 of them. He's like, I'll get it. And I mean, at the end of the day, here's the problem. The problem is very simple. The problem is to save money, which is a coast has created, has not, has not a, purchased the best quality material for us. And in doing so, they can print this, these crappy cards at volume, which will make them more money. And they know we're going to buy the crappy cards anyway, because everyone just promotes the crappy cards. I haven't bought a new set in some time. I realized that like from drafting them and having um, sealed and pre-release, the quality has absolutely deteriorated. And it's for the mass market. They don't care about, they're not a mom and pop shop anymore. It's not Richard Garfield and friends. It's a billion dollar company who wants to make a um, billion dollars from this company from Wizard of the Coast. And they're going to cut corners. They're going to, so they are going to cut corners 
and the people they're hiring, they're going to cut corners too. <laughs> so you have a combination of um, a vendor who doesn't care and a, a company who doesn't care. So higher quality sheets of the same mail could be obtained for maybe two cents more, maybe less, if they did the legwork and had a good trucker. The only thing that would scare me on the supply side is credit. I would rather sell Wizard Coast than a commercial printer because printers have bad credit and rarely pay within terms. This is true. We use a printer called CP Solutions I located in Oklahoma City. And not the best. Not the best. I have some information on who the printer may be, but I'm not going to broadcast it as I have no proof. But back to paper quality. So it comes down to an expert telling us that, no, this is not going to improve. We're going to have years of bad paper quality. And the reason is Wizard Coast doesn't care. They want to save an extra two cents. And the vendor that they hired doesn't care. So they want to save an extra two cents. It's all about money. So it's a typical big business, right? When you get to a huge business like Magic the Gathering is, you don't care about your end customer if they continue to buy it. Why care about, why add, why sell good natural hand, churn, uh, hand grinded or churned uh, ice cream when you can sell mass produced ice cream with uh, fake milk or dry milk, right? And people like that taste more because you put caffeine in it and now they're addicted to it. Hey, anything to make a dollar, right? It is sad to see this company. I did grow up with the company being a lot more friendly, a lot more customer oriented. It used to be, I mean, it used to be a misprint or something kind of valuable and kind of like awesome to get. And you, even if all the cards in your pack was bad, if you, as long as you got that one misprint, you would be very happy because you knew that it had some type of value. Today, everything is misprinted to oblivion. And the key here is I don't think there's a, according to this guy, there's no solution in the foreseeable future. So no matter what we say, what we do, we're going to continue to be sold very poor product. I mean, it's the definition of defected product. It's product that has a utility, which is playing with them. And luckily for them, you have people promoting sleeves, right? Imagine if we had to play without sleeves, then it would be kind of crazy because I heard recently in a GP, one of these cards packs came out so poorly that the opponent called a judge on him and it was a sealed event. Makes no sense. Anyway, bye guys.